Hello, 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 my friends. I am talking to you live from the Atlanta airport on the first leg of my Iceland trip. So I'm gonna be documenting this entire trip to you, all the deets, all the details, and where we go, what we do, and sharing all of you along the way, and I'm super excited. And so today is kind of a big day. Today was my last day in Athens. Um, I officially graduated from my PhD on Friday. My birthday was Thursday. And now I'm flying to Baltimore to meet up with my best friend before we fly to Iceland for my PhD finishing celebration trip. And I'm super stoked for this entire adventure along the way. And I cannot wait to take you through all of it. So let's go. All right, my friends, we are all packed up and ready to rock. We are headed uh, to the airport. We don't leave until like, the plane doesn't leave until like 8.30 p.m. But um, we're in Baltimore and we are driving to um, DC's airport to fly out. So we're trying to get ahead of a storm coming in, get some food, no stress nation. I don't know if anyone knows how important it is that my keep my life RPE at two this entire trip. Logged out of all my emails except for the one for travel co correspondence. About to log out of Instagram, logging out and all the things, keeping the stress low. So I told Vanessa because I am an anxious traveler and when I'm rushed that we have to keep it breezy beautiful cover girl here today so we're gonna leave a little early get some food take her time um, get to the airport Vanessa's ready to rock Vanessa's like Spongebob jellyfishing uh, hunting and I'm like okay but we have a red eye and I'm not She's gonna sleep swilliam. I'm swilliam no <laughs> my PhD ruined me but super stoked I don't think it's hit me yet that we are going to Iceland like I feel like between graduating and my birthday and wrapping up my PhD, I was like, yeah, 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 we're doing it. Like, I feel like I just sat down and planned the trip last night. So it hasn't hit me yet, but tomorrow morning, yeah. we will be landing in Iceland. So let's go. All right, we are in the international wing, and in, I think there's something pretty cool about, I should note that this is my first international trip, so it feels powerful to know that I could go anywhere in the world if I really wanted to, which is cheesy, because most of you have traveled outside the country, but. Unfortunately, the panini really stopped that for me when I was finally going to be able to do it, but it's exciting. We are ready. Everyone's like, wow, Lissa, you're lame. We've traveled out of the country before. But like, let me be excited that I'm 29. This is for my first time leaving the country. We have basically a red eye where we are flying in to Iceland overnight. We leave here at like 9 p.m. and we land at 6.30 their time, which means it'll be at 2 a.m. our time. So my goal and my goal only is to sleep. That's the only job that I have. So let's do it. All right, my friends, hello, hello. We have officially made it to Iceland. Um, we are tired, but not wired. I haven't decided if we're gonna try to find somewhere to nap or caffeinate, but our car pickup doesn't come for another hour and like 15 minutes, so we have some time to kill. Once you kind of get it grouped, get it together, get out of the airport, it will probably feel way more real because we are in freaking Iceland. Okay, hello, hello, hello from Iceland in the camper van. So, We've officially landed. Uh, we got our camper van. My camera's crooked. That's the perfect description of how I'm feeling right now. I am hurting for certain, but we are getting ready to go snorkeling in the sofa, sofa fissure. This will be really rad. I'm not a water person. I kind of wish we had more time between transitioning so I kind of napped, but it's gonna be great because I'm gonna do a once in a lifetime experience. So we are getting ready to do the snorkeling thing. And so it's Sofra Fissure, it's essentially the tectonic plates um, and we are going snorkeling, not snorkeling, scuba diving? Scuba diving, snorkeling. No, we are going snorkeling, not scuba diving. I have messed those up so many times the past week. So I'm getting ready because I think the water is like two degrees Celsius, I wanna say. So it's cold is basically what I'm saying. And I'm a baby about cold and a baby about water, but literally landed in Iceland and are hopping in the car to go do this thing, so. <laughs> so, one, I complained and was nervous and apprehensive as all get up. I don't know what I had in my mind that was going to be. What ended up happening is that I had an amazing time 
got some amazing footage. Super cool. Vanessa, how was your experience? It was amazing. 10 for 10 would recommend to anyone, even if you're afraid of the water. It was awesome. So this is what we learned from our really cool tour guide. So the fissure is not actually the tectonic plate split. It's a lie. And I'm telling you guys a secret in hopes you still think what it did was pretty cool, because it was. But it's actually part of the North American plate. It's technically American. And the, the rocks over there are the edge of the American plate. Well, welcome to National Geographic with Douglas Fitness. And over there is the Eurasian, European, I don't know what's one. European, Eurasian, whatever. Plate. So technically we're standing in between the plates right now. But that's, we were still swimming technically between them. Even though it wasn't like, oh, we're touching the plates. So, now you know. Okay, we are here at Berlafoss, I think it's called. And this is apparently the bluest waterfall in Iceland. Holy freaking macamole. Bluest waterfall Water is absolutely nuts. Like it is insane to how blue this is the, the big finale one was cool, but I like the first one a lot. I think the first one was my favorite. Okay, we are now going to Geyser. We got out of car, and I was like, is, our, is that a car? And I was like, no, that's sulfur. That's natural, all natural. It smells like chemistry lab, if I'm, not, if I'm not lying. I'm wearing sandals to Geyser, no one can stop me. I don't know if there'll be a regret, but it's a pretty easy hike. This is the this is little Geyser. I like to think I'm a little Geyser. It is so windy, but this was worth it. This is a good one. This is cool. Uh, yeah. a huge glacier around this mountain. No, that's just one big one. 